Hey, so this is a tutorial of how to make this snow glow postcard thing. So let's go ahead and make a new document file new. The size we need to be, make sure it's in inches and it needs to be 11 width by eight and a half width. Again, make sure it's in inches. Everything else um, we can leave the same, hit create. And then, like a good designer, go ahead and save it. Um, put your name or um, snow globe or whatever you'd like, but make sure your name is in the file. And hit save. Okay, first things first is my layer called the notes. Just go ahead and ignore that. That will be for me to um, let you read a, like a note or something I have about something specific that we will talk about later. Um, in layer two or just whatever your layer is, go ahead and grab your square tool and we're going to draw a square that will represent our background. And so that is how you can make a background color. I don't care what your background color is, that's completely up to you, but just know that your snow globe will be similar to this by the end. Okay, so like a good designer, we're gonna expand this layer right here by clicking on that arrow, and we're gonna rename this to background because we must label all of our layers. So, we can go ahead and lock that because we don't want to accidentally grab it and edit it and move it around as we're working. So I'm going to grab my ellipse tool. I'm going to make it I'm gonna make it white and then this little arrow right here will toggle the fill and the stroke. So now I have a white stroke and no fill. So do that it switches it back and forth but I want it to be the stroke size so in order to make a perfect circle you just hold down shift and you click and drag so that is actually a note that you want Okay, so I just move it over to where it says the center is because um, I operate like that. And then for right now, we're just going to lock that circle, but it's going to help us kind of give us a guide as we start to create. So the first thing we're going to do is create the snow on the ground and we can just grab our rectangle tool and then I'm going to switch it back to no stroke and a white fill. I'm going to draw a rectangle that sits outside of that circle on all edges, um, like on the side and on the bottom, but I'm actually going to make this like something annoying that I can see. So this sits outside of it. And then now we're going to use our curvature tool to make those curves in the snow right there. So make sure you have that white rectangle selected. Again, it's got to be outside of these edges over here. So you don't want it to look like that or inside in any way. That's a no, no. So make sure your rectangle is selected by clicking on it and then come over here and grab your curvature tool. If you don't see any of that, just go to Window, Workspace, Essentials Classic, and your workspace should be set up better. So I grab that curvature tool and I'm just gonna like start clicking and dragging and I'm making those little snow mounds and if I want to edit one that's already there, I'll just come and grab that dot and move it how I please. 
So let's say I accidentally get out of there and I'm in my direct selection tool and I'm like, okay, well, I didn't like the curve that much. Just grab your curvature tool again and those dots for the curves pop back up. And you can do all of the things. So there is our snow on the ground. And we're just going to call that ground. And I'm going to lock it again because I don't want to mess with it right now. I'm going to grab my ellipse tool again and still with a white fill, we're going to build our snowman. So to make a perfect shape, we already know what we're supposed to do. We hold down shift and we drag out. This is actually a little too tall for my liking. Yeah, I'm going to move that down a bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then to make a copy of something the quick way, you can always right click copy and then paste or control C and control V. Um, but the better shortcut to do um, is to hold down alt and then click and drag to make your copy. Mm, there's my dog, sorry. So I selected it, I clicked and I dragged while holding alt. And to shrink it like down perfectly, I'm holding shift and alt. And it shrinks it from the center. Aria. Yeah. If I don't do that, if I just do this, it makes the circle all wonky. So you need to hold down shift again to make that perfect shape. But I do shift and alt to drag it from the center. Let me have a note. So I'm going to make one more. And then I kind of want them sitting on top of each other a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to just click and drag to select them all. And my line should pop up. If not, it can be over here or you could go to window align. So we're going to hit the horizontal align so that they all line up. If they were moved over, then they would line up perfectly. Now I'm going to copy just the two circles. I'm going to shrink him down a little bit so he's just a little bit smaller. Again, you just hold down shift to do that. Okay. So here are our snowmen. So I'm just gonna group those. So instead of it being each individual object, I'm gonna put them all together in a group. You can right click group or the keyboard shortcut is Aria is to control G. So control and G is a group or right click group. So I'm grouping those, and then we have the start of our snowman.